Oh hi there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel and I'm grateful that you're welcoming me into your home, on your phone or wherever you're watching me from and whichever country you're watching me from. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Um, sometimes I get a bit frustrated when I want to talk about a topic and I don't know enough about it but I think it's important to share with my subscribers. And the topic I wanted to talk about today, which I don't know too much about, is the fact that Jamaica is being encouraged to speak French. Apparently, the French government is paying for a French exchange programme. That's not the exact words, but I'm going to read it out from my notes. And because they feel um, Jamaica will derive benefit from it. Um, Orlando... What's his name? Orlando, let me say, State Minister for Education, Youth and Information, Orlando Terralong, is embracing the opportunity for local teachers to be better trained in the delivery of French. He wants Jamaicans to lead, inspire and transform, and transform their world and believes that learning French will achieve this. Now, I don't know why... French will achieve this. I'd be and I'd understand if it was Chinese, because Chinese is the top language. There's some dispute as to whether Chinese there's more speakers of Chinese or more speakers of English. In some places, they're showing England as being higher than Chinese. But in the most recent world, Atlas.com, it says that. England has got 1.39 billion speakers and Chinese has got 1.15 billion speakers. So they're very, they're quite close. But I understand if um, Jamaica was teaching Chinese or added Chinese to the curriculum. But, you know, French. And French, in it was, I was hard to find a source that showed... French is ranking fifth. According to Quartz Africa, they reckon that French, France, speaking French, is the fifth um, world's top language, but I couldn't find it. In the World Atlas, it says it's tenth, and everywhere else, I couldn't even find it. I mean, it's probably way down. So I'm not quite sure why Jamaica wants to learn France. I mean, any additional language is beneficial. It gives you, you have transferable skills. You're able to commune better with more people. So it's a fantastic skill to have. I'm just wondering why French, especially in view of the fact that Macron, um, Prime Minister of France, is trying to get... Um, French to be the first language of Africa. He doesn't want them speaking their native tongue. He wants them all to speak French. And French is spoken in 29 regions of Africa. And what they're reckoning is that 77 million will be French speaking by the year 2050. And 80% of those will be in Africa. So there are some French speaking Caribbean regions. Is Jamaica going to be added to that? Is that the plan? I'm not sure. Um, you can't take away Jamaica's two first and second language or two first languages. I think they're neck and neck, which is English and Jamaican Patois. Four million people speak Jamaican Patois. So that's quite high in Jamaica, considering the size of the population. Um, what else was I going to say? 1.2% of Jamaica's population is Chinese. In 1943, statistics revealed, 1943, that's a long, long time ago, revealed that 12,394 Chinese resided in Jamaica. 2,808 18 of those were Chinese born, uh, 4,061 were locally born, and 5,515 were multicultural Chinese. 
Um, I don't know what the breakdown is now, the 1.2% of the whole population of Jamaica. Um, I think population, oh, I don't even want to guess what the population of Jamaica is because when you look at the sources, it just changes. One minute I saw 2 million and then I'm thinking if 4 million speak Patois, it, how can it how can it just have a population of just over 2.9 million so i don't know what the population are is it kind of fluctuates um what else did i want to say okay the french speaking caribbean regions at the moment guadeloupe martinique saint barthélemy saint martin french guiana haiti although the french say they don't really speak french dominica and saint lucia um, the French government claimed that French will bolster derivable benefits between English and French-speaking Caribbean countries through linguistic, cultural, entrepreneurial exchanges. I think it would be good, the fact that if they learn French, because if the majority of Africa is speaking French, that could really bolster good relations. That could really be beneficial for Jamaica, but not so much with the other Caribbean islands. I'm not quite sure how... Um, what French is talking about, it will bolster derivable benefits, unless they're thinking about going over there. And I guess, you know, if you're looking for employment, it gives you an advantage if, if you can speak the language. According to writeapp.com, that's R-Y-T-E-A-P-P, there will be 700 million French speakers by the year 2050, and 80% of them will be in Africa. Um, according to the World Atlas, 2019, England ranks first at 1.39 billion, China second at 1.15 billion, and Spanish at six, 661 million. There's been a call. There was a call in 2012 for Spanish to be added to the curriculum. That would make more sense over the French, I think. The Spanish ambassador to Jamaica declared Spanish should become Jamaica's official second language over patois. I don't think so. Um, and but I do think Jamaica should think about learning Chinese, especially since there's so many of them living in Jamaica. And it'd be good for, you know, you'll be able to understand what they're saying, especially since they're, they're around so much and you're working with them and you're engaging with them. It'll be good to know uh, the language. Um, what else did I want to say? I think I said that. Um, oh yeah, French immigration, how they, because I was, I didn't even know there, that's how ignorant I am, I didn't even know there were French people in Jamaica, I know that they said out of many one people, there's a host of countries in Jamaica, um, and cultures, it's unbelievable, I, and I should have written it down, but it was like, anyway, a lot, so anyway, um, French immigration from Domingue to Jamaica dates back as far as 1791. Thousands fled to Jamaica from Domingue. Um, they've got French restaurants in Jamaica. They infer there's a French presence in Jamaica, but not as much as the Chinese. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's all, really. I'd like your thoughts. Do you think it's a good idea that Jamaica speaks French? I mean, over and above Chinese, or do you think, like me, it'd be better for them to um, learn Chinese? Do you think there's anything um, strange about them wanting to learn French as opposed to Spanish, putting French on the curriculum as, a sp as opposed to Fr um, Spanish? Um, you know, it's just... It's just me thinking out loud. I'm I'm just I'm such a skeptic. I don't know what's going on. I just think it's a bit strange that the French government is paying Jamaica um, to learn French. But anyway, that's all for now. Bye bye.